Hello again, and welcome to another project with the Razor scooters. This time we have a Razor E300, and I picked this up for £36. It had the standard SLA batteries in it, but they were shot, so I thought, yep, it's time for some lipos and a new controller of course as the standard controller is a bit rubbish and I've gone again with the new Thrall which this one has a LED display on it so that's kind of quite useful to keep an eye on the lipos um, apart from that, it's pretty standard. It's got the standard motor, standard wheels, standard drive, as you can see in there. I haven't changed any sprockets or anything yet, but that's something for the future. So, basically we've got the cheap controller. That was £10 off eBay. It's just a generic Chinese uh, 800 watt, 48 volts. And I've wired it into the XT60 again. This time I'm running a parallel. It's three times 4S LiPos and two sets in parallel. So we've got two inputs to the one controller input and all the other wires are just plugged in the, that's the motor that's the um, battery in um, this one is the brake which I had to splice on as the I didn't have the right terminal the right block rather so that's been spliced and also the throttle has a wire don't think you don't know if you can see that that's the orange wire that goes to the um, LED display on the throttle standard 5 volt throttle again and everything's pretty much just standard. It's got the standard circuit breaker, standard switch. That doesn't light up anymore. I think it's just too much voltage on there. And um, that's pretty much it. I've done a speed test so far. Just a quick one. And this is the results. 27 miles per hour. Uh, we've done about five or six miles, and we I'm just charging the six lipos to give it a proper speed test. See if we can get 30 miles an hour out of it. This was at about 3.85 volts per cell. So in theory, if we can bring it up to 4.1, 4.15, we might be able to get 30 miles an hour. So we shall be doing another test, speed test run tomorrow. Hopefully not quite as windy as the last one. Um, that's pretty much it. These batteries are, these LiPos are, you can't see. 4.01, 4.02, so they're pretty well balanced. Three of these are out of the pink scooter from the previous. scooter and another three I had spare so we're gonna hook this all up and see what happens another three-way there's two of those so one for each set of batteries 
so basically we'll have a total of 44 volts, 44.4 volts nominal voltage and 10.4 ampere hours so we should get some decent mileage out of it as well um, I think the pink scooter was running about 15 miles but we never really ran it too low just to preserve the lipos obviously because they don't like to go too low but the controller on the pink scooter did actually cut the voltage off at uh, 3.5 volts which is quite handy good protection for the for the lipos so yeah we'll fire this up tomorrow and see if we can get this up to 30 miles an hour that's not bad for a standard scooter huh anyway if you uh, like then subscribe and keep watching out for some more videos